Welcome back guys here to this old house. I'll show you what we've done here. Done a lot of work here since I did my last video. Let me go in and show you. Let's walk in and see how it is. Alrighty. See here? I knocked the ceiling in here in the living room yesterday. It's all out. See that right there? That yellow handle right there? That's a dirt pan, uh, tampner, to pa uh, tamp your, pack your dirt or whatnot. Well, I'm using that to pound the ceiling in. And this is the results of me pounding the ceiling in. And then I got my shit scooper right here. I shovel it all up to the waiting dump trailer that's setting right here. And it gets loaded into that to be weighted for hauling off to the dump. So, let me see if I can make my way over here. Without getting stepped on and stirring up too much dust. Because as you've seen, I didn't have my mask on. So, there's one of my temp walls right there. Okay. Here's my other temp wall right here. Those are joist jacks or jack posts or whatever you want to call it. That's supporting that. So I've got this other one right here. I can smell the dust and stuff in here. So it's holding those ones up. I'm going to have to come back in and reattach this one here. That 2x4 right there. And then that 2x4 right there will be attached. It's actually attached to... Uh, top of the trusses here but it will need to be reattached to the bottom here when I put my beam in right there I'm gonna think I'm gonna be able to just to take and uh, when I run my beam down here I'll have to get rid of all these nails that's on the bottom of the boards take and get rid of them might be able to take and uh, set my beam right there and then that two by four that goes up and braces the seal of roof up right up there see how it's braced up in there because it's a wide open roof so you don't have your normal roof like the you normally would have and your trusses running across and all that braces and stuff this is how they did that i might be able to just run my beam right on top of it and then anchor it but i'm going to still anchor it to this uh truss here um but when i tore this arch out right here this archway out last week Part of my ceiling dropped because I didn't have my other beam up because um, I didn't have them with me at the time. But before I left, I ended up putting a 2 by 4 up just to, for temp work. But, but anyways, look at that. The arch is gone. That ugly arch is gone. The arch wouldn't be bad if it wasn't so low and tiny. So it's gone. This wall here, Adobe wall. Worked on a little bit last week also. This wall here, it's adobe. It's not a load-bearing wall right here. This side right here is my load-bearing wall. So I'll be building another wall back up, but I'll probably run my beam over to here and run my new wall up here because i got to do a new door jam over there. But this wall here, I can't wait till it's gone and do a 2 by 4 wall. So <clears throat> let's walk over here without stirring up too much dust. That closet, gas line will be gone. The closet will be gone. Well, look at that. You could take and put another bedroom up in there. If you really wanted to. I could. But that's just a lot more work. But I'm going to end up taking and putting in. I'm going to have to look into it. But I want to put one of those ladders that go in the hall in your attic right here. You pull down and then you dra ladders drop in. I'm going to put one of them here. I might. It might be big enough. I'd be able to do it right there. And I might not be able to. I might have to come over to here. This looks a little bit bigger here. And put it in the living room. It's really not going to be that big of an eyesore. But then you're able to use it. Your attic for some store some storage is what my plan is. Is using it for a little bit of storage. Put some sheetrock up in there. Or not sheetrock, but uh, plywood. But yeah. So this wall door right here goes to the basement. 
down in the basement to your furnished room, whatnot. So I'd have to tear this all down and build a new wall here to support the trusses here that are going east and west. And then, uh, but there is a closet in this bedroom over here. I'll be able to tear this all down because that closet in this bedroom, which I'll show you over here, will be able to take the weight and support of those trusses while I tear this down to get it rebuilt back up to, and then I can go in and tear that down. But, oh yeah, can't wait till all this old crap's gone and out of here and whatnot. See this wire right here? That's your electrical wire. See the little white, a white deal right there? Right there? That's what they put the uh, wire on. I think that's knob and tube, so. I think, if I remember right, I can't remember. It's been a minute since I played around with it. Because my other stuff, it was, <clears throat> it was some older stuff in that other house I did. And it had that stuff in it too, so. But then they come down and put it into this wire in here. Look at what they've done here. They would nail, stick nails through that. To stick it into the wall. Isn't that just crazy? Luckily they didn't short it out. But yeah, look at that filth. Look at that mess. Get rid of all that old crap and get the new stuff in. I'll tell you what, it is dusty in here. I swept this kitchen floor here. Look at how dirty that is. That floor back there in that addition. It is covered. You can't even see the pattern of what's on that carpet there. Because that's how filthy it is in here. But yeah. Kicked the ceiling down in the hallway yesterday and stuff too. So let's go over here in this bedroom real quick. So this closet right here and this wall here, I'll wait till I, I can go in and kick the ceiling in here in. As long, you know, I can do that, no big deal. But I gotta get the living room cleaned up first. And, <clears throat> and then I can come in and kick the ceiling in here and the rest of the rooms. <clears throat> but the, the wall here, <clears throat> I'll leave it up before I, and tear that adobe wall down over there. Well, yeah, look how filthy my fan is. Look at the dust piled up on that. That's why you want to make sure you wear a mask. But anyways, like I was saying, on that wall there, I'll leave it there. Then I can tear the rest of that adobe down. And then I can go in and reframe that. But I kind of want to probably wait to see what I'm going to be doing on the floor over there. Because I need to put up my beam or else I might put up my beam and put some concrete down on it and then do the beam and then it's all done. Then we don't have to do no temp walls. So we'll see. Get all these ceilings kicked in and then we can go from there. Because it's a lot easier to do the work when you don't have a bunch of temp walls up and they're in your way. So if you can get them out of your way and get that done, then you won't have them in your way. But if you do, then it's just a little harder to work around them because you got to Build them, take them down, build them, take them down, and then build your new wall up and then take it down and be done. So you've got to have jacks and stuff to push it up and hold it up and all that stuff. But it's it's hard, pain in the butt, but it, it, it's it's workable, it's doable. But uh, anyways, uh, that's what I've done so far. That's the progress I've done. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and... Like they say, if the women don't find your hands, then they ought to at least find your handy because you can destroy a house within an hour and a half. Took me about an hour and a half to kick the ceiling in the living room in the hallway yesterday. So, But anyways, you guys have a good day and thanks for watching the project on this old house. Good day.